I am the face of Black maternal health. I am Dr. Sabra Luzzi, and I am a member of the Association of Black Cardiologists. I would like to share a real story of a young African-American woman who I met during my training. She was only 25 years old at the time. She had just given birth to a beautiful baby boy, and in the months that followed, she found herself struggling to take care of him. She was short of breath and nauseated nearly all of the time. And to her knowledge, her pregnancy was uncomplicated. She always made her OB appointments. She was diligent with her prenatal vitamins. I mean, this was her first child. She didn't have any medical issues. She went to the emergency room only three days after being discharged from delivering her son. She had swollen legs. She couldn't breathe. The next several months, she was in and out of the hospital repeatedly for the same symptoms. She lost her job. Her family was unable to help her. In fact, she was her mother's caregiver. She ended up nearly homeless and on the brink of losing her son. After six months of this horrible story, she was finally referred to a heart failure cardiologist for her severe advanced peripartum cardiomyopathy. However, she was in bad shape. She required mechanical heart pumps to support the left and right side of her heart. She was told she didn't have enough social support to be a heart transplant candidate. And before she could celebrate her son's first birthday, she was gone. She lost her fight on this earth. I wish this was the only story like this that I had to tell. Unfortunately, it's not. As a heart failure cardiologist, I have met several black women who have been in the fight of their lives while becoming mothers. The all too common story that they tell me is how they have to persist and try to convince their physicians that their symptoms are real. Convince them over this mantra of hearing, oh, you're young, it's just your weight, it's just stress. I carry these women with me. I think of them often. I have to give it voice, ruminate over it, remind my colleagues and refuse to be silent. We cannot allow any more black women to be stolen away by premature preventable death. An unfortunate legacy of our nation's history and structural racism are the disproportionate deaths of black women and babies. Data from the National Vital Statistics just two years ago showed that maternal mortality rates for non-Hispanic black women are two and a half times that of non-Hispanic white women and three and a half times that of Hispanic women. The vast majority of these maternal deaths are preventable. This is not about socioeconomic status. Black women across income and educational spectrums have higher rates of maternal mortality. And over the last 20 years, this high black maternal death rate has placed the United States second worst among developed nations. Considering that one in eight maternal deaths occur between six weeks and a year postpartum, getting through the delivery is just one step. In fact, women with pregnancy-related complications are at higher risk of cardiovascular issues throughout their lifetime, and most of them don't know because they've never been told. This is a crisis and it must end. We as members of the Association of Black Cardiologists stand at the helm with the mission and the vision to protect black mothers, to save our lives, to speak life and to ensure health. We are committed to black maternal health. I am the face of black maternal health.